Hey y'all, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Shamian. Thank you for joining me on another YouTube video. If you're new, make sure you're subscribed. Everybody turn on your post notifications and like this video. And you know what? I want to hear your opinions. So please comment something down below and we can chat. We can have a conversation. Now, I've seen a lot of content kind of surrounding cleaning, but perhaps not the way that I was doing it. And it has this kind of idea of cleaning a depression room. Most times they're like a hundred times worse than my room, um, given that I was taking things out of shelves to repack them properly. For me, this was already a lot. I felt incredibly overwhelmed every time I came into my room. And for me, it's not necessarily about the fact that I'm not cleaning my room every week or, you know, every couple of days, but the fact that I can't maintain order. And so these are completely different manifestations. And I think mine is rooted in the kind of discipline and order we're expected to have and my socialization as a woman. Now, coming from Zimbabwe, oh, best believe everybody's going to think there's something absolutely wrong with you if you're a woman who can't clean, who can't keep order, who's not ready to serve because we have this saying, right? like strength is like milk, it will always come back, like breast milk, like you don't run out of that, it's always going to come back and or cow's milk, kind of, I know, this is all confusing to me, I don't know why I use that, but yeah, the fact that you can't run out of strength, we don't have kind of the material and the language to describe the situation, and so you're just in a space where you, you do it for the optics of it, and I'll talk about this later. Okay, y'all, um, I know I look dusty, I am dusty, and I've been cleaning, so I've kind of, um, organized all my clothes and there's a missing section so you guys left me off when i was kind of sorting out through this chest of drawers i don't know what it is it's like ikea drawer and that is where the first shelf has all like my cosmetics things that i use on my body uh, menstrual products and the medication related to that <laughs> um supplements and then i have makeup i don't know i think i need to start that again just to fully embody this a genderness and yeah so i have that in there and then i have my underwear drawer which i'm not showing you guys and the miscellaneous drawer so that's where my um what's in there usually this tripod will be in there and then that's where all my kind of warm tight things that are way inside are um so this is more like the care your i don't know what to call it but now i need to sort everything in this drawer um <clears throat> in front of me wait, let me show you so this entire desk area and the drawers underneath need to be sorted and yeah so that's basically what we need to kind of get done right now i don't know if i'm going to be able to do everything oh yeah i stopped filming because i ran out of battery and everything i was doing was basically not being filled because i had like four <laughs> percent so yeah now we can start again with the speed 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 time lapse and hopefully i'm done with this so i can charge my phone because i have somewhere to go later has arrived so yeah everything is about the optics right but when i see a lot of these conversations and when people talk about um just functioning low mood i think we don't tend to discuss just how terrible it is to maintain the gains of this functionality because i've done all this work i've cleaned my room um i'm going to clean other spaces i clean everything and i'm doing all this work but it doesn't amount to anything because i cannot for the life of me hold on to the gains and it's an exhausting cycle because my brain isn't capable of just maintaining everything I'm editing while I'm talking about this a day after I cleaned and most things aren't terrible because of just how much leeway and like I thought I tried to be more conscious of how I packed things so it wouldn't get bad really fast. There's already telltale signs of the fact that maintenance is going to be very difficult for me. Now when things are right with me, then it's a no-brainer. I'm going to have, I'm going to be on top of everything. I'm going to be packing away things immediately. Um after I'm done with them but it's not always the case and so um at least in my experience when I always talk about having functioning low mood because we're not using the d word um that's mainly what I'll be talking about and the weather doesn't help just to give you guys a close-up everything is very chaotic the floor looks crazy this is just things that I still need to file from school 
this is kind of the miscellaneous drawer for right now and i want the top one to remain empty these things will be filed tomorrow this is kind of my important drawer then my textbooks books whatever i have my crocheting book my cooking book that i need to use more often and that's just notebooks you know you know i love to talk to people i feel like it makes the experience better oh also i'm kind of trying to charge my camera battery i have a digital camera which i love and i tried to get it fixed but getting it fixed kind of was like i'm paying the same amount of money that i could have used to buy it and i know it's not the fanciest camera it doesn't shoot in 4k but i love the pictures that it takes and i just love having a camera next to me because you you, you get like a different perspective of everything and it's not connected to the internet or whatever and you can just have fun with this and also we know we are freeing the congo so i don't need a camera i have to make sure this one works and so i'm trying everything by hook and crook child <laughs> okay uh so yeah that's what we're doing so yeah as i close off this voiceover i just want to say um yeah i get it you know it's not my intention or my goal to prioritize healing from this because i believe the system is so broken that we are being asked to do more than um we should be able to or that we should need to do and that our environment is so isolating it makes things incredibly difficult for all of us um but i'm not disheartened for it believe it or not even as my brain does these things because of just radical self-acceptance i'm happy i am truly happy so yeah if you got to the end tell me about yourself have you experienced this are you experiencing this how are you coping are you just floating by i don't have a bedspread right i don't have a duvet Yes, I need to buy one, but I don't know what duvet to buy. This is how useless I am sometimes. I'm like, what on earth is that? And it wasn't a priority because I just moved to Berlin. You guys are going to get that, I don't know what week, but I'm filming that tomorrow. Like just basically explaining why I'm back in Berlin and all of that. And so basically I've been paying 400 euros per month on the deposit since I came here and I'm paying my last installment now. Um, yeah, that's really what it is. So I'm a student, I'm an Atsubi, I'm not a student, I'm an apprentice, and of course I can afford everything. But this room came kind of suited the way that it is. I don't mind it. I'm very happy to have just very little things with me. And so, yeah.